Hey guys, this is a real quick follow up to the uh, Space Invaders monitor swap. I actually got a question in the comments about how I actually got the LCD monitor to work with uh, Space Invaders. And uh, I admit I kind of just glossed over it because that wasn't my original intention. I was trying to put the CRT in there and I ended up busting it up. But uh, so I, I just wanted to take a few seconds to go a little more in detail. Blech, can't even speak. A little more in detail about how I actually got it to work. So normally, uh, what did I do with that part? To get something to work with an LCD monitor, you would you, you this is I forget what it's called. It's RGB CGA to RGB or VGA converter. Um, they just use like Chinese boards that convert a um, RK video signal into a VGA out, and that's actually what you do with all. Well, 90% of these games in here, this is what you would do. But uh, with Space Invaders, you actually don't have to do that. All you need is a yellow composite cable, which, oh, I had one of those laying around too. It's the, uh, and I don't have my cable. It's the uh, yellow cable you use to plug in like uh, your PlayStation or your N64 back in the day. Yellow video cord. Um, RCA cables, you can find them. They'll be labeled RCA or uh, composite video. But uh, that's all you need to get this thing to work. And uh, the monitor I actually used had a. You're probably not gonna be able to see if I don't have a flashlight. Dun 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 dun. Bam. The uh, monitor I actually put in here, it's actually a TV. It's an LCD TV, but it actually has. You can see up there. It already has a video input for uh, composite video. So I didn't need to do any conversion whatsoever. Uh, actually, I think this has a VGA on it too. So there's a few different things you can do, and the type of TV I used, I specifically got to uh, flip the image, a Sharp LC19SB25U. Uh, that's actually the model number. There's a uh, the, so the, the type of monitor is a Sharp. I think they actually use the same uh, software for a lot of the monitors, but uh, yeah, I specifically sought this version out because I found online. Uh, in the manual that it had a reverse mirror option. So check the, uh, before you buy anything, just check the manuals online. You can Google the part number and it can tell you if, uh, if it has that feature or not. Also made sure it had that composite video. So, and then all you need to do to get it to work is you go from this connector here, which comes out of the, uh, it went to the original chassis uh, which is this right here. Sorry, I'm doing run around. I got all these parts scattered everywhere. So, this is what the thing looks like taken out. Your monitor would set up top here facing upwards, and this was facing, this side was facing the coin door. So, the connector that we actually tapped into was this one right here, this big white uh, uh, Molex connector, I think is what it's called. And the wires we tapped into, so the connector was here, and all we did is we cut two wires that were going to this two, um, it's actually this, Jesus, you can't see shit. Uh, get in there, camera. I'm actually using a different camera too, which kind of sucks as far as quality goes. These two, it's a gray and a purple on the, op on the opposite end of the connector. But if you were to look at it, the uh, they match to the two farthest right it's the bottom and the one right above that these two right here so you're gonna take these wires out and then you're gonna splice it in with that yellow composite cable and uh, line myself and it should be a white and a black your white's gonna be your video cable and the black's gonna be the ground so when you take the yellow uh, connector that's going into the monitor that I showed you if you just snip one end and peel back the uh, casing with your wire strippers you're actually going to find two wires in there. So then all you do is just take those two wires I showed you on the chassis and splice them into that. And your video signal should work. And then you just plug your TV in like normal and it should work. And I really hope I just didn't speed through that. But it's pretty easy. Here's the... Uh, you don't need anything really extra. Like no converter or anything. It, it just natively works with composite video. But yeah, you want to avoid... So this is the connector going in, it would plug this way. You want to avoid everything on the left side, which is purple, blue, and green. Those are actually your power um, going to the chassis. Back over here, why did I bring this over with me? 
the, uh, those colors I just mentioned, they actually go to this connector. See if you trace it back all quarter from my mouth. Whoa. Uh huh. Uh huh. Those cables right here, if you trace them back, they actually go into this second connector over here, which then goes underneath the chassis to like the, uh, oh my god, this thing's heavy, to the isolation transformer and uh, the uh, switch that lets you do uh, switch between 110 and 220 volts or 115 and 230 volts. Okay. So yeah, don't mess with those. That's where your power's coming at. If you put that to your monitor, it could be it could be bad. I don't know what would happen. Just don't do it. So yeah, only focus on the black and the white. And another way you can tell that if you're using the right cables, it's uh oh, this is a way better angle. Yeah, it's these two right here. Boom, boom. The uh, they're actually the smallest wires on that uh, connector that we pulled out because it's only it's not. Um, transporting any power, so it doesn't need to be a thick gauge wire. The other ones, on the other hand, are, I don't know what the number is, but they're just thicker wires. So yeah, these two right here. The smallest wires and they're black and white. Just pull those out of here, splice it in with the yellow composite video cable, run the other end of that video cable to your monitor, and you should be fine. Alright guys, I hope I didn't confuse people even more. If you got any more questions, hit me up in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. Alright guys, thanks.